Good morning sports fans, how are we all doing? Welcome to the channel if you're new here, my name's Tommy and if you're not, welcome back. It's a cold one today, I am full thermaled up, shoe covers are on, neck buffs on, the Windsor caps on under the helmet and it's cold, it's about four degrees, there's no frost, no ice, nothing like that so it's nice to get out but it's different compared to what it has been on previous rides with shorts and t-shirts and it looks like we're back at that point again in the UK where every ride is a 30 minute time beforehand to get ready and all your kit and all your gear to get out and get those miles in. Anyway, we're a couple of miles into the ride today, only just going through the industrial estate, not too far from home. And I don't know how far we're gonna go yet, but I do have to be home before 11.30, so it won't be too far. But anyway, onwards and upwards. We are now just over five miles in and I've been moving a bit, I'm a bit warmer. I just want to say thank you for those that have uh, recently tuned into the videos and subscribed. I appreciate it's been about two weeks since my last upload and that is because life has been busy. For those that don't know, baby number two is coming before Christmas and I need to pull my finger out and get the house sorted. I'm halfway through fitting a new bathroom, I've got decorating to do, we've got carpets to change, there's lots going on. So it has just been about balancing real life, cycling life, fitness, work, YouTube, editing, whatever it is, it's just been a big balance. So thank you though to those that have subscribed, those that comment, those that like, those that share it with their friends, appreciate it. But yeah, I will try and get some videos uploaded uh, in the coming weeks, in the coming months. Sorry, I'm tired, I'm going uphill slightly. And uh, hopefully, it's content that you still like watching. And there's the Axley boys stood fixing the puncher. Morning. Northamptonshire. Oh, we have just cycled through Washingley and through Lutton. And we're gonna head out down now towards Oundle, I think, towards yep. Oundle, do a bit of a loop. And hopefully this week we can ride back on the road that we tried to ride through in the last vlog, but the road was flooded and we had to turn around or I got a wet foot. So we'll head that way and see. We are now uh, nearly nine miles into today's ride. So we're rocking them up quite quickly. And it's slightly getting warmer, which is always good news. This is my first ride out in my new ASOS Biblong tights for winter. I've had ASOS Biblongs for years and the last pair's lasted me a good five years. And that's one of the things I always say to people that moan about the price of ASOS clothing is, is you don't replace it very often. It wears well, it washes well, and it's bloody comfy stuff. The pair that I've got on now are the Last year's uh, winter collection, the S9 collection. I'll put a picture on the screen now of them. And they are available in the ASOS outlet store currently now. They're still in stock, so if you're interested, go and get them. But they're bloody comfy. And they're, they're built with a slight race sort of geometry in mind. So I'm quite stretched out on this bike because it's my old race bike. So the pad's not the biggest pad or the thickest pad that ASOS offer in their range. But when you're stretched out, in a racing position, the pad is in the right place and I fully recommend them. We are now 10 miles into the ride and we're gonna head along this back lane here into a place called Hemington. And from Hemington, we're gonna drop down into Polbrook, head towards Oundle, and then work our way back towards Warmington, Fothering Hay. And hopefully there's no floods this week. Let's see. Yep. I just took a swig of my uh, water mix that I'd made up last night and it's like drinking ice. I said to Jake, I'm just in the habit of making a drink up the night before and putting it in the fridge so it's cold for the warmer ride. Just forgetting that today's super cold and now, well, it's like drinking a block of ice. We're now into Barnwell, which has been in the vlogs before. 
I've definitely been this way, but probably the other way. We're gonna go over a little bridge here, past the pub, the Montague Arms, and then head up through Barnwell, up towards Oundle. We are 14 and a bit miles into the ride. Here we go, here's the pub and a little bridge. This is a beautiful little place, very picturesque. The pub, over the bridge and a little river, and then up past the church. And here we are into Oundle, but the lights say no, wait here Mr Cyclist, so we will. It's a Sunday, so Oundle is busy with all the school kids, by the looks of it, going to church or assembly or something that kids that go to really posh schools do on Sundays. Either way, fair play to them. We are 17. Uh, off the camera. 17 miles into the ride in the middle of Oundle and we're going to head out of it now towards Tanza, Warmington. And let's see if the floods have gone. Yeah. We're good. We're going to take a right here down into a small little village called Cotterstock. There's a big house in Cotterstock, and I'll show you in a second before the bridge. And I believe it was used for the film The Woman in Black, which my mum's cousin is actually The Woman in Black. She played The Woman in Black. I've never seen it myself really. I don't like horror films, so I'm a big scaredy cat. I'd much rather watch an action film or a comedy. But we'll head down here. We're not doing two, but 18 miles now, we're not speeding, so thank you. And we are bang on 19 miles into this ride. As I just mentioned, I think it's this property just here that was used in the filming. We'll head down over the bridge here, and as you can see, the water is still going well up on this bridge here. Oh, good, you can see the remains of the flooding just there into a place called Tanza now. I was just talking to Jake about it. Most of this road and the bit that we're going to head on in a moment would have been underwater a few weeks ago. It's cleared off now obviously but we'll head around the corner here and see if there's any remains of flooded fields or hedgerows that look extremely wet from the amount of rain and water that came down a few weeks ago. A bit of road we are cycling on now Two weeks ago is where we tried to come, but was completely flooded. And you'll see from this video I post on the screen now, I got wet feet. So yeah, we probably got to about somewhere here and had to turn around because this was maybe a foot, a foot and a half underwater. We're all right today, as you can see. It's cold, the sun's out, the roads are dry, there's no floods. And it's been good to get out. As soon as I haven't been out on the road for a couple of weeks, it's nice to shake some cobwebs off. I appreciate I'm not riding miles and miles and miles, but for little old fat cyclist like me, I'm happy to get 20, 30 miles in on a weekend. That suits me just right. We're now coming up into Fothering Hay over this one way bridge, or yeah, one lane at a time bridge. But you can see Fothering Hay Church on the hill up there in the distance looking very majestic and as we go over the bridge providing one-handed there's no cars coming the other way bikes coming the other way sure to look down at the water morning chaps as you can see it's a bit lower down there today at least today we can cycle through we are biking back now into elton and this is a road here that floods every time there's any rain you can see from the grass there how much it's warm back and there's a few bits of wetness left on the road here. Um, we couldn't come this way a few weeks ago because of the floods, but it's one of the main routes for us to get back into Peterborough along Andal Road. But this is, yeah, this was fully underwater. Probably, again, a foot and a half, maybe two foot this one. We'll head up into Elton here over this little bridge. Hopefully we can see over, over the bridge down onto the, the water. There's usually a few Rosie and Jim boats parked up, narrow boats parked up on the side and I guess the water will be a little bit lower 
than what it was a few weeks ago. It's still flowing well. There's less of it. Last climb of the day, up out of Elton, Long Hounder Road. Nah, there's a steep bit. Steep bit. Yeah. Oh dear. Nearly at the top. Oh, we're there. Thank you, mate. We are now cutting through on Southgate and we are heading to one destination and yes folks you've guessed it it is Starbucks we are getting an end of ride coffee and then we'll be heading home to crack on with the rest of the day I've got a family day today we're gonna meet up with some uh, my brother mum and dad and we're gonna head over to Rutland Water and have a bit of a walk around with the dog but first we'll get this ride in like I've done this morning get a coffee and we're gonna get a nice warm shower to warm up because today it's been chilly it's cold it's turned in the UK it's been really really cold today we are 28.6 miles into today's ride and we'll go and get this drink and then finish the last bit of the ride off and I'll give you an update then to how many miles we've done. Oh, and just like that, the sun is back out. It is 10 past 11. We have done pretty much 30 miles and we're not too far from home. So I just want to say thank you again for watching. I'll stick the uh, route on screen now for you. And as always, if you like the content in this channel, Help me out, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and if you really want to, help me out even more and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys, have a good weekend, and see you all again soon.